Hey guys, so I found somebody on YouTube, and they are a huge MetaZoo collector. I do not believe they're making any more videos, but previous to the time, they had bought uh, literally, literally every MetaZoo promo card that Alpha Investment has ever come out with, as well as the Rudy Gem Keeper card. So we've covered the Rudy Gem Keeper card. We've covered some of the MetaZoo cards like Santa Claus. At the time he was making this video, the Santa Claus supposedly was $281. There is a eBay complete auction of the Rudy Claus at a hundred ish dollars. So what is the appeal on? So let me put this out right now. The CEO, Mike Riddell, who people really do think is a egotistical narcissist, uh, the creator of MetaZoo and the owner of MetaZoo, according to him, he has a board, but they don't actually have equity. So was some equity given to Steve Aoki? Was it a different type of partnership? We don't know, but Mike is the man at MetaZoo. He doesn't even have a promo of himself. And when we talk about Richard Garfield, uh, the only Richard Garfield promo I can remember, there was actually two. There was one wedding promo, which is I think a one of two, it was only for very close friends, family and friends of Richard Garfield and uh, his wife's family and friends. Uh, that rarely, and then one for the second birth of, or the second child, the, the birth of his second child. I don't know why the first child didn't get a promo card, but uh, maybe he had that earlier on and maybe there, there's no opportunity to make a promo. But those are the only two, I believe. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong about that. He does have a unglued version, right? Yes. Um, but for the most part, that would come much later. I think the unglued version, if I'm correct on that, that actually was maybe after he got kicked out of Wizard of the Coast. Hasbro bought Wizard of the Coast. Anyway, uh, so the creator of MetaZoo has zero cards of him. And then the CEO at the time, Andy, now let's, uh, Nick's, in str Nick's strength in Pokemon does a fantastic job covering who Andy is. Andy is the type of guy to date a artist employee, then give that artist preferential treatment because that's what MetaZoo is all about. And then have that artist do all the Hello Kitty stuff and, and then do the signings and get paid for the, all the stuff, right? Uh, 2D point, I mean, this is pretty interesting, right? 2D point that the other artists just straight up leave. Like, the Poncho and all these guys are like, yikes, man, I'm outy. Because this is get, not going to get any better from a game they supposedly love and that made them famous. And and now we got to find new artists, right? <laughs> you know, from the underpay those people. So, that's how bad it was. And mother effing Andy doesn't have a promo card of himself. Like, between Andy and Mike, these are two really extreme characters for any TCG to have. And if anyone would want promos, it would be these two people, right? Because they are, again, one of them is the CEO. And from his interviews, from his discussions, from his Discord, like you, you say anything critical about Andy and Mike, you're gone. You be gone. But you know what, dude has like, and these aren't even the crown eaters. He got three more promos on top of this. Let me count this. So he got one, two, three, four. I think this is 10. I think the guy said there's 10 MetaZoo cards, MetaZoo promos, and then the crown eaters 13. Is that correct? I'm only seeing, I'm seeing that he has eight of them. And he's got the Rudy Gem Keeper, and he's got another promo card. I don't know if that's counting his 10. Let me. He's got like a screenshot of him holding it all, but it's, it's impossible to count how many he has. There's just so many. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so here's a screenshot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine MetaZoo promos. There's a orange one, a purple one, a silver gold one, a silver one, two green ones, another silver one, a black one, and a yellow one. So one, two, three. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. Oh, no, there's another one on, on the ground. So he didn't pick the one on the ground. Or are they duplicates? 
Anyway, this has got to be the biggest, like, MetaZoo Rudy promo collector in the world. He's actually got these, like, he, he was actually making videos. I don't know. Is he still making videos? Let me check. Somebody sent me the link. It's uh, kind of interesting. Also, uh, here are some interesting MetaZoo photos in case you guys care. But the end conclusion I have is, holy moly, guys. People got burned to a crisp investing in this shit. Yeah, yeah, man, it is really, really bad. Um, yikes. Uh, what, what can I say, man? The dude invested a lot of money. Maybe he's happy. Maybe he has a job. But once he loses his job or gets a girlfriend or a wife, things are going to change. I can't imagine, you know, you being married or having a significant relationship with anyone. Oh, this is interesting, too. This story, maybe I'll tell it later. Meta Bros. Uh, their YouTube channel, they this is a group, two dudes, good audio quality, good video quality, good production quality, really good production quality. They made MetaZoo videos for a long time. And uh, then I think MetaZoo Mike banned them from Discord. I don't know exactly what, but then they stopped. I mean, high quality shit they were making. Y'all, here's a photo. Yeah, so you can see there's nine of those. And then that doesn't include the free crown eaters. So you got 12 home. I mean, how does the... I mean, how does a creator of the game not get a promo? And just the... And, and Rudy's not a player. He's not a champion. He probably doesn't even know what how to play the game at the base level. How... And this should be a very, very big warning sign. I warn you about Argos Anonymous, too. That game that he's got... He's, He's already got promos of himself in. Anytime I see a non-champion, you know, I get it. Hey, you're the best player in this game. You deserve a promo. That's how Magic Gathering did it a way back when. Ken Watanabe and John Finkel, they have promo cards of themselves, kind of, right? The card isn't named themselves. Their name is nowhere in the promo. Saddle Mage Infiltrator, for instance, John Finkel, I remember that. They just helped design it, and the artwork is, you know, obviously it's John Finkel, right? It's the, his likeness. But, man, I don't I don't know, man. Just, this doesn't sound right to me. It doesn't sound right to me that, like, these, because it's preferential treatment. You're not saying, hey, you're the best player in the game. You worked really hard. You had work ethics. Maybe you got a little lucky, but you went to these tournaments, you grinded, and you crushed it. No, what um, what you're saying is actually much, much worse. What you're saying is a dude with 0% equity in a company, an influencer, right? This is the whole problem with crypto zoo, with Logan Paul. I mean, we can go on and on about the crypto space, right? Gary V and V friends, that the influencer is more important than the player or the collector. Most of these collectors are not going to understand this because they're dumb in the zoo. But that's what it is. What they're saying is we value influencers more than we value either players or collectors or even the creator of the game because that's what our game is about. Hype.